What is up everyone? So we are in a slightly different location. You can, can you see the mess? No, I think I've blocked it perfectly. Good job, Jess. So we are by my vanity. I'm gonna share with you guys what I've got in my everyday makeup drawers here. Right now they're a mess. We're gonna take some things out, kind of clean it out, switch it out for different makeup, keep some of the same things. You guys know the drill if you've seen this for a while. But basically I'm gonna be showing you guys what makeup I'm using every day and what makeup I plan to be using over the course of the next months. So you wanna see my most recent one of these like two months ago, I will link it up in the eye and down below. Anyway, so let me bring you in closer, grab your coffee. Let's dive in. So here's what we're working with. It's, you know, I've got my brushes and stuff, but I just have kind of random makeup and skincare here, some new stuff, uh, some other new stuff I'm using. So some of this is gonna stay skincare wise, like I'm using the Glow Maker every day and this Charlotte Tilbury, this pharmacy eye cream. But then some things I pulled out recently cause I was like, I wanna use it up. Like this La Mer foundation, I am about two thirds of the way through. I actually really, really like this. It's just so expensive. I don't want it to go to waste either. So I'm using that up. Anyway, so this I cannot wear under makeup. I've tried time and time again, no matter how long I wait, it pills up. So I might move this to my like nighttime skincare area, like in my bathroom, cause I would use it at night, but I just can't do it during the day. Do you want to see in the drawers? Okay. So <laughs> it's messy. <laughs> Um, the problem is I always organize it and then I just bring more and more things into it because I'm like, oh, I want to use that today and then I don't put it back in my collection, I leave it in here. So we're definitely going to clean this out. There are some st old standbys that I use every day like the Thrive Mascara, the Maybelline Gel Liner, um, this concealer I'm loving from Benefit, the Boing my LA Girl brow pencil. So certain things that I just use every time, I definitely am gonna leave in here, but I really wanna clear a lot of this out so I can breathe new life into some other products I haven't used in a while. So like this washcloth is super dirty, it needs to be washed, so that can go. This headband needs to be washed, that can go for now. Hair tie doesn't need to be in here. So let me grab a basket so I can actually move a lot of this over to my collection. All right, we've got our basket. I am going to, oh my gosh, some of these are brand new, I don't need them in anything but anything that's not staying is going to go in here. Uh, it is staying, it's gonna stay up there. This was something, by the way, this L'Oreal shadow that I actually really liked, but it's got, I don't know, like I haven't used it in a long time. It's in the shade 202, but I can't quite get it to apply anymore the way it used to look. Like it's a little bit, it's an interesting formula because it's kind of almost creamy in a way. But I don't know, I couldn't get a good look out of it the way I used to, so I don't know if it's changed or I don't think my tastes have changed that fast. So I'm gonna put it back in my collection, but I'm kind of thinking about decluttering it, which makes me sad. I have another shade I need to try and see if it's kind of doing the same thing. And some of these are so dirty, like something just like exploded at the bottom of this. So I really need to clean it out before I put anything back in it and kind of clean these off. All right, we've got our pile of makeup to go back. A lot of the things up here, I am gonna keep some of them as I shop a little bit in my stash over there. Might end up going back into it as I pick like which foundations I wanna keep, which eyeshadow palettes I wanna keep over here, etc. Okay, now let's go to my collection. So I actually do have like a tray of brand new makeup I was thinking about using. When I got rid of like literally all of my PR makeup, I left what I was keeping in a little tray. Sitting in my closet, I kind of want to go through and if I'm not feeling strongly about any of the ones like let's say primers if I've got a new primer I'd rather try then I might pull that in so we'll see how that goes I'll share those with you too so this top drawer are my lip products honestly I don't typically pull from here much for that because when I'm actually wearing a lip product I will just come over to this drawer and pick something out because I don't typically wear the same thing every day there are a few exceptions to that obviously but I pretty much leave everything here so I might not necessarily grab anything from here, uh, lip, I am gonna grab a lip balm because I like to apply something to my lips while I'm getting ready. This Kosa Sport is actually nice. It's like they're, they have a few different ones that are like tinted. This is just like their plain one and it feels really moisturizing on the lips. So I think I'm gonna bring that over. So this drawer is eyeshadow palette. At some point in my life, I need to go through these again and really determine what I'm going to keep because I have a few in here that I, I just don't really use, um, that I like, but I don't really use. So. I'm keeping the Charlotte Tilbury palette, you'll see in a bit over there. So I don't feel the strong need to have anything else. I might bring over 
the Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells because this is a palette I actually really like and it's getting forget forgotten about. So that one I think I'm gonna scooch over because it's a really quick, nice palette for everyday looks. So this is where I keep my primers. I've gotten rid of a lot of primers. I don't use them every day, you know? So um, I think I might bring over, I'm, I have the Becca Backlight Primer I think I'm gonna keep out. Uh, I really like that a lot. I, I just think it's so pretty underneath makeup. So I don't feel like I really need another primer over there. So I think I might just leave it at that. Now, concealer wise, I certainly have favorites that I reach for all of the time, but I haven't used my Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer in a while. So I did want to grab that out and use that. I'm probably getting near to being done with that. And I, I again, I would totally repurchase it. So I think that'll be good there. And then foundation wise, I have the La Mer one I'm wanting to use up and the new Wet n Wild Dewy one I am loving. Another one I don't remember how I feel about is this Milk Makeup one. So this I'm gonna move over because I've only used it a couple times and it's supposed to be kind of more like a tinted moisturizer look, but again, it does have an expiration date and literally I just bought this. It's supposed to expire in like eight months. I'm like, oh my gosh. So I've got to use what I've spent my hard-earned money on. So over here is where I have like eyeliners and eyeshadows, like single eyeshadows and some brow products. I do have a lot of brow pencils, but I use brow pencils like every single day. So they get used, but I think when I run out of my LA Girl one, I even though I already have a backup there, um, I, I want to try to use up other ones I have. So... I think what I might do is bring this CoverGirl one over. It's another favorite of mine. It's in the shade Soft Brown. And so when the LA Girl one is done, I'll try to use this one up and just kind of work through these so they're not just sitting there collecting dust. And I actually do want to bring over a clear brow gel, so I'm going to bring the Anastasia one. I just love this L'Oreal Chromatic Bronze Pigment and as if I always end up coming over and grabbing this. So I'm just going to put it in the drawer. <laughs> I don't know why I'm fighting it, you know? Yeah, maybe I don't. I thought I had another uh, one of those L'Oreal single. Oh, I do. There it is. In 207. Let's see. Yeah, they're... I don't know. Maybe this is how they've always been. I'm trying to think of how I got it to work because it's hard to apply with your fingers, but with a brush, it didn't really do much either. So I'm trying to remember what I loved about them. So eyeliner-wise, I think I'm going to move the Hourglass 1.5 liner over it's one that i have loved for a long time this is in a brown one so when i'm doing a quick look it's a really really tiny point they're super creamy and this is in the shade canyon okay so this is my slightly messy uh blush bronzer highlight area so i think for blush i think i'm going to bring over the ulta beauty cream blush in sunrise this is such a gorgeous cream blush oh my gosh it just looks so pretty on the skin, so I haven't used it in a little while. It's one of my favorites, so I'm going to bring that over. I also feel like I haven't used my Nude Sticks Nudies bronzer in a long time, and I don't want it to go bad, and I really do like it. I do prefer the Milk Makeup one over this, but they're so nice. This Wet n Wild one is really nice, too, but I want to make sure I get the use out of that. It's kind of cool because it comes with a brush, but I don't... It's just a little bit too small of a brush for blending for me, but it does work. Like, if you were in a pinch, it does work. Highlight-wise... Oh, this is something I completely forget I own, and I just recently bought it. It says Marc Jacobs Highlighter Stick. I bought it when I was trying a bunch of, like, YouTubers' favorites. This was Samantha Robindahl's favorite. And it's such a gorgeous, dewy highlighter, so I definitely want to get use out of that. These are just powders. I do want to pull out my number seven powder again because I really liked it when I was using it, but I've gotten so many questions about if it's a dupe for a few other things, so I really want to try it out and make sure I know for sure. So that one is going to go with me. It's kind of funny. This is all I pulled out, and I'm like, wow, like, am I sure? But I think once I get this with the other things and figure out what I really want to keep in there, a lot of these, as I'm kind of glancing through them, are ones that I just have not used in a long time, but that I like a lot, So, or I need to know how I feel about it. So I'm excited to move these over there and give them some love. So we've got a lot we're working with here. I need to kind of make a few decisions. So let's see. I might scooch some things around a little bit. So powder wise, I've got like three powders. I don't mind having like a pressed powder and a loose powder. So I'm definitely keeping the number seven. And then I've got the Hourglass and then the Laura Mercier Glow. I think I'm gonna keep the Hourglass in here for now and take a break from the Laura Mercier. I pretty much know how I feel about this. You'll see a uh, speed review on this and a bunch of other products I've been trying for the past month or two very, very soon. So stay tuned for that on my channel, but that one I think I could put away for now. Foundation wise, as I mentioned, I'm just gonna keep both of these. This Wet n Wild one is one of my absolute favorites. It's so new to me, but I'm loving it. It'll also be in that speed review video. 
It's their dewy one. I wear the shade, if you're curious, Shell Ivory. And then La Mer, I wear the number two. That was a lot of money. So I definitely want to get my money's worth. And then as I mentioned, the Milk Makeup one. Skincare wise, every day that I'm getting ready, I use the Glow Maker. So that's definitely going to stay the Polish Choice SPF. It's my favorite SPF. And then I also use these, this eye cream. I actually don't really like, it was sent in PR. I'm just trying to use it up. It's kind of a bouncier eye cream. It's called their Cheer Up from Pharmacy. I just don't know that it's doing much. And so I want to use it, but I'm not like loving it. I am really enjoying the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. So that I use every day too. See, this is where I get tripped up because I'm like, I also want to know, I want to double check how I feel about this Bobbi Brown Vitamin Rich Face Base. It's going to be in that speed review video. So it got buried and then it got really dirty. So I didn't use it the past few weeks. So I want to dive back into this and make sure I'm still enjoying it. I always have my Misha BB cream. I mix it with a lot of things. So that's going to go as well. Primer wise, the only thing I have over here is the Becca Backlight Primer. I really do enjoy this. So that's going to stay as well. Now concealer, I think I grabbed a few. This was one I already had in there, but again, I'm not totally certain on how I feel. The ColourPop No Filter, so I do want to use this. I kind of wanted to check the color of it because I picked kind of a darker one, but it's almost like orange. And I know this Benefit Boing one is like the perfect shade for me. That ColourPop literally looks orange compared to like my shade. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this ColourPop one. If I were to try it again, I would just need a different color is really all. But I'll keep these two concealers in here. I love, I'm almost out of this Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I freaking adore this stuff. So definitely keeping it. I already have a backup for once I am through this. It's the best under eye setting powder in my opinion that I've tried in a very, very, very long time. So for blush, I may have too many. Let me see here. Oh, this is a concealer. This Marc Jacobs one, I actually really do like. It's their like creamy cream stick, but I don't necessarily need it right now. I don't really have a lot of spots to cover and I don't love this on the under eye. Because you might wanna be zoomed in a little bit more. So for blush here, I've got the Hourglass Dim Infusion Blush, one of my favorites. It looks so natural if you're near my skin tone. <sighs> my beloved Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur. This is one that's kind of creamy powdery and you can literally use your fingertip to kind of bounce it into your cheeks and it looks so gorgeous. I, that's one like I reach for constantly. And then these two, I've got the CoverGirl Butterflies little cream blush. I actually already know how I feel about this, so I don't need to keep using it if I did want to switch to the Ulta, but I'm enjoying the CoverGirl. So kind of like, do I just keep both in here? I think I will. And then, oh, I also have this Charlotte Tilbury one I can put back in my collection for now to give the other one some live. So I think I'm going to powder blush wise, give the Bare Minerals one a break and use this hourglass one. Highlight and bronzer. So all I have here is my Charlotte Tilbury Contour one. You guys know I love the second one of these I've owned and then the nudie sticks I'm definitely gonna put in. Um, I think I might just use the nudie sticks and put this one away for now, give this one a break. Highlighter wise, I'm gonna give my Charlotte Tilbury one a break. I love it though. And then, okay, so I have two cream ones. This MAC one that I wasn't sure how I felt and I felt like I should give it some love. It's this pearl cream color base. It's so pretty though, but I certainly don't need both in there. And I love the powder, but I'm gonna put the MAC powder highlight in Double Gleam, one of my absolute favorites, away because I forgot I have this new Too Faced Turn Up the Light little highlighter palette. And it's got like a soft focus powder, a highlight, and then like a glittery highlight. And I'm so far enjoying this. I don't love the glitter glitter highlight, but I like the other two. So since I already have a powder highlight in here, that will work. And then I only need one of these. I think I'm gonna keep the Marc Jacobs one out for now. Oh, I forgot I had this Hourglass one. I already know how I feel about this. So again, it'll be in that speed reviews, but I don't need it in my drawer. Eyeshadow palette wise, I probably have too many here. The Born This Way Natural Nudes, I'm still trying out. I really, it's, the colors really speak to me, but I'm still kind of deciding how I feel about it. So definitely keeping that one out. This is what I use every day. This is literally my favorite little quad. I use every color. I'm wearing this today. It's just the best. I put that all over the lid and then that in the crease, that a little more focused in the crease. And then I just tap this kind of glittery top color on my lid and I just adore it. It's the pillow top quad. So that has to stay here because I use it all of the time. I pulled out this Wet n Wild one and I also have this new Charlotte Tilbury Darlings palette. Very similar similar quality to the quad. I think it's good quality. 
I don't use every single shade in it though, which is why I'm like, eh, but I do wanna keep it here because I do wanna use it. So I might just keep all of these and just have a few options. Brow wise, I've got the LA Girl and the Cover Girl. That's fine with me. So I'll keep those there. My Thrive Cosmetics, uh, Liquid Lash Extensions, Mascara, this stuff is the bomb. Um, keep the lip balm here. The, uh, okay, eyeliner wise, I've got this pencil one for when I'm doing a quick liner look that I showed you from Hourglass. Then, oh, the brow gel. I always use my Maybelline gel liner and my Revolution one together. So those are definitely staying and going in there. One eye primer. I don't own a lot of eye primer. I don't use it every day. So this NARS one I like. It's the tinted smudge proof eyeshadow base. That's gonna stay. And my little L'Oreal pigment. Now I do have this puff. I'm gonna go get a clean one of though. This one needs a washing. All right, I just grabbed a few things from my little PR area that I do actually want to try out. So I just had this new puff from Laura Mercier. I typically honestly buy my puffs on Amazon, but this was sent in PR and I'm like, well, I'll use it there. I feel like most puffs are created equal. Don't at me, I haven't tried the Tati one yet, so chill out. This I bought a while ago, the Hourglass Number no. 28 Primer Serum, because I don't use a primer every day, but I was curious about like a primer serum, how I would like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. And then I'm gonna swap out the Hourglass for this Thrive one because I have tried this once or twice, but like I said, I don't really know how I feel about it. So I'm gonna switch out the Hourglass and have this in here with the number seven. And concealer wise, I'm gonna swap out. This is what, where it's tricky. I wanna use a flower, but I'm dying to try this number seven Lift and Luminate Serum Concealer. So I think I'm gonna put this in instead of the flower and flower. Maybe next time, you little cute baby girl. You are a great concealer. And then lip product wise, I'm loving the Kosa stuff, but I think I'm actually going to put this fresh sugar one in. I haven't used this in a hot minute, and so I wanted to use it again like just their standard lip treatment, and I'm gonna put this by my computer because I use like, I put on lip balm as much there as I do here. So just kind of switching that out. So in this right drawer, I've got a lot of my base products. So I've got all of the skincare I use in the mornings. I've got my kind of primers and base products, concealers, some powder, uh, and then a lot of like eye products and brow products that all fit really well in there and my lip balm. And then in this left drawer, I got a fresh washcloth I use to kind of wipe my makeup brushes off and stuff or wipe up a mess if I make one, which I do. A new clean headband and my puff, and then I've got my eyeshadows, my powders, and then highlights and bronzers and blushes. So. Ooh, this is a good feeling. It's looking good. I feel like this is manageable. Every time I reorganize these drawers, I feel reinvigorated and like excited to get ready each morning. You know, it's something that costs no money and yet it totally like reinvigorates me. It's awesome. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I love cleaning this out. It kind of gives me, when I film it, I feel like it gives me an impetus to actually get it done and like really think through what I'm putting in there. And like I said, it costs no money to do this, to kind of shop your stash if you have a lot of makeup. But it does, like, it's exciting. It makes getting ready in the morning exciting for the next month because you feel like it's a fresh start. So if you did enjoy, I hope that you will subscribe. I do three videos a week, beauty and lifestyle here on my channel. I hope you'll come say hi to me on social media. It is at It's Jessica Braun everywhere. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.